And today I'm embodying and channeling La Katrina, the concept that we are, no matter how wealthy, no matter how beautiful, no matter how happy or well off, we all transcend the mortal coil and we leave behind our bodies to go back to the earth, to go to ashes and to dust and to rot and to decay and to be repurposed back into the system. So it's the reminder that beauty and love and connection feel ephemeral like a rose that can last for a couple of minutes or a couple of days to truly appreciate and make that connection with each other from full heart and full spirit to never waste a moment with those that we care for. As La Katrina bringing you and these viewers today into sacred ceremony with me, I ask you to go into this micro ceremony and if you find it to be very touching and fulfilling for yourself, I ask for you to do it in your own time longer tomorrow. So we're gonna start by making sure mischievous spirits do not interrupt us connecting with the other side us connecting with our ancestors and those who've crossed who still bear us deep within their spirits just as we bear them deep within our hearts. Okay, little mischievous spirits, you know you're not welcome. The loved ones are in fact very welcome to enter this spirit form tonight. So as we connect, and I ask each and every one of you to think of an ancestor that you knew or a friend that you loved, many have crossed to the other side at this time. So you want to bring them close to your heart, see them in your mind's eye, and you want to imagine as you see me hold up this coffee cup, that you're offering them food. You're offering them food that was their favorite food in life. I have corn chips because my beloved who passed in 2019 grew blue corn. And so for him and to honor him, I feed his spirit with the blue corn chips. Now, each and every one of you think of that favorite food of your beloved one, that special thing that really made you connect with them. And I want you to offer that food sometime today, sometime tomorrow, or sometime before the 2nd of November. Now we got to go from that offering of something that there was their favorite taste, their favorite flavor, their favorite libation. We want to move from that energy to what did they like to do? As you focus in on this beautiful little pumpkin filled with the seeds, just like the ancestors passed down through the family tree, you're on one of these beautiful branches. I want you to see that person, that favorite person. What did they love to do? And then what I want you to do is I want you in your mind's eye to join them in that creative activity, whether it's dancing or skiing or playing or going to the gym, what did they like to do? And then if you don't like to do it, just do it with them in your mind, in your heart, make it a very special moment. Invite them to play with you. Invite the ancestors and the friends their legion on that side, more may come than you expect. Now, after you've done that part of the practice, I want you to take a sacred flame. I want you to dedicate something that made you laugh, something they did that was so funny, so quirky, just to them. And I want you to hold a candle and remember that laughter. Remember the power of bliss and invite them into these memories. You can say them out loud to that beloved, the way they were silly when they tripped over in the hallway and knocked all the luggage over and you went skidding down the side of the wall and you're laughing so hard you can't even think straight. Those moments are so sacred that they're contained throughout time and space. A medium, a psychic can see these things because you contain them inside of you and they contain them on the other side. One of the sad things about when somebody crosses is they take some part of you with them. But one of the most beautiful things about when somebody crosses is they leave a little something with you. So make sure when you make that flame connection with your beloved and your sacred one, that that joy and that belly laughter saturates your full body, bones, the bones that last beyond us. 
let that laughter sing in your bones. Now I want you to think about the sacredness of water. Water is very special to offer to the, the ones who've crossed because water is part of what crosses with them. Their last breath, the last exhale, the moisture from their body, it goes back into the system. It goes back into the rivers, back into the clouds. They live in the raindrops on your face. So offer them water and thank them for the fact that they still exist in a water form, swirling around you, nourishing the earth and creating more water for you to create more people. Oh yes, the chain of life and death. It's very, very sacred. So offer them sacred water. And when you do offer them the tears of love, the tears of love of those moments that only they could fulfill for you. A very special something happens between individuals, your grandmother, your mother, your lover, your child. That very special something stays. It's permanent. It's a story told by angels. So when you drink that water and you offer that water and you offer those tears of love, you are offering the depth of what will also live long beyond you. When you're done with your water offering, I ask you to do a smoke offering because smoke offerings are a wonderful way of sending your intentions to them. Now, everybody has a different opinion right now about what kind of herbs to burn. I have sage that was offered to me as a gift from the First Nations. They have been kind to me and wise to me and I offer this sage to you and to your loved ones. Let that smoke trail go around them like a crown and send your most spiritual, most truly blessed hallowed sight to them. The memories, the thoughts, the stories. If you're going to burn a sacred plant, thank the people who also burn that sacred plant. Thank the First Nations, they were here long before us. They've shared kindness and love and wisdom with us. And they ask for us to honor and respect the land and them. And let those beautiful blessings go to their ancestors and their ancestors' ancestors as well as your own. Be generous and be loving. It seems the spirits know that it is time for us to conclude this magical, mystical evening. And with that, the last thing I want you to offer them or share with them is something that's so sacred that it's a secret between the two of you. When you finish this ceremony and hopefully you put time and love and effort into it, if you need to cry or you need to journal, whatever it is you need to do, I ask you, I ask you with all of my heart for you to take that time now when the veils are so thin and bless them with your presence, knowing that they can see, feel, and hear you. La Katrina out, Guinevere blesses you as well. <laughs>